I went home for a wedding a couple months ago. I timed it so that I could spend a couple extra days staying with my sister and her family who lived just outside of Philadelphia. My sister has a son named Evan, and he's a great kid. He's five years old and loves exploring. He always carries around a stuffed rabbit that he calls Thomas, and consistently talks to it. Thomas, let's go play with this. Thomas, let's go find some frogs. I can't help but think of Calvin and Hobbes every time I see Evan playing with Thomas. The problem is, Evan never listens when my sister tells him not to go wandering off alone. He's constantly running out into the woods near the house. My sister has tried everything to get him to stop going off alone, but short of locking him in his room or tying him up, there's really no stopping him. Evan just doesn't understand how dangerous the world really is. There had been a rash of kidnappings in the towns around where my sister lives. It really scared her, especially when she wasn't sure where Evan was half of the time. When I was there, she got a call from the school. Apparently, Evan had skipped taking the bus home. My sister rushed to her car and went to try and find him. She asked me to stay home in case he came back, and I agreed. Fortunately, after an hour, he made it home. He was fine and skipped in with his stuffed rabbit. I called his mother while Evan ran to his room saying he had to do homework, a journal, for writing practice. My sister came home relieved but furious. She went right upstairs to talk to him. After a while, she came down with his journal which had a very long entry in it. It had some spelling errors, but this was the gist of what it said. Today, a man said, come with me, your mommy is sick but he was lying. I said, Thomas, step on his foot. Thomas, step on his knee. Thomas, step on his back. <laughs> Thomas, step on his head. He was a very bad man. Later that night, I went to talk to Evan. I asked him, did you and Thomas the rabbit meet a man today? Evan looked at his stuffed animal, and then back at me and laughed. <laughs> this isn't Thomas. That's Thomas. And he pointed above me, over my shoulder. No one was there, but I could have sworn I felt a breath on the back of my neck.